Now with the ability to add new cities to our application, we actually are encountering one small issue. So what's going on is that we are reaching out to our API over at Open Weather Map twice for any new city that we add. So you can see here in our modal that whenever we create a new city via the modal, it's going to reach out and get that current weather information from the API. And also it's going to do it right here because when we add a new document, it's going to receive the doc type added. So let's just go ahead and log some stuff out to the console here just to show you this visually. So we're going to console.log and we'll say doc.type. And then I also want to log out one more item here, which is just going to simply be the doc. All right. So if we head over to our application again, you can see that all of the pre-rendered ones that we already have in our Firestore collection have the type of added. So that means they're going to run through this code right here. All right, so let's go ahead and add a new city here. And let's just say uh, Miami, all right? Now when we add Miami, you can see here that we get some items logged out to the console and the type is added and you can see that it's going to run through this code again, which we don't want because we are limited to the amount of calls we can make on the free plan. And it's always best practice to, you know, not make as many API calls as uh, you don't need since we already are making the call right here. This call is unnecessary. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now, I also logged out to the console, the actual doc. All right. Now, inside of the doc, we have another object called doc and you can see here we have this value of doc.nd and it's it's a boolean value and you can see here that currently for the new city we added it was true now for any pre-rendered or already i should say already items that are in our collection when we reload the page that type is going to be false as you can see here it's false for all the four that we had when the application was first loaded so we can use this value right here to determine whether or not that the item was this recently added if this value is true. So let's go ahead and update our condition here or our function. So what we're going to say is if the doc.type is equal to add it and if doc.doc.nd is true, then run this code. Else if we want to come down here below this and say else if and we're just going to copy this right here because we're going to be using the same format or same condition check, except um, I'm sorry, we actually want to make sure this is false. So we're going to add an exclamation point in front of that. So we're saying here doc.type is equal to add it and this is false and then run this. Else if doc.type is equal to add it and this is true, then we're going to run this. So just to show you that this is working now, I'm going to leave this as an empty comment so you don't get an error. So now if we add a city with this current logic, we shouldn't actually uh, see the city appear until we go ahead and refresh the page. So if we go and say, uh, let's add Boston, you should see that we're not going to see the city here. But if we refresh it, you will see the city here now because then at that point, this uh, value right here would equal to false. All right. So what are we going to do if this condition is true? So all we're going to simply do is copy this right here because we want to just push the data from the Firestore collection into our array of this dot cities or our cities array. So we're going to just copy and paste that in here. And now if we go ahead and add a new city, let me just refresh it here. If we add a new city, we should be all set. So we're going to say San Diego. The city appears here and now we are good and we are not making an additional API call. Now for this application, we're going to implement the ability for a user to refresh the application by clicking on this refresh icon here in our navigation. So let's begin to implement that. So in our view project, let's head over to our navigation view and we want to attach the logic to this I class right here, which is going to be our refresh icon. So Let's go ahead and say we want to implement a click method here. So we're going to say at click. And when we click this, we want to run a function. Now we haven't created this function yet, but it's going to be called reload app. All right. Now inside of our methods here, we're going to create this function. And simply what we want to do is set this function to location 
and then the method of reload. So now whenever a user goes to click on this icon here, the application should uh, reload without us having to refresh our whole entire browser. So let's go ahead and refresh this to make sure the change has taken effect. And let's simply click this. And you should see now that we're able to refresh our application by clicking on this icon.